Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will review entering bills that are to be paid from the client trust account. Remember that when entering these types of bills, you will want to use the special client trust AP account that was created specifically for this purpose. It is very important to remember to select this account from the top of the Enter Bills window when entering these bills so as to not enter these bills against the law firm's AP account. When you enter these bills, the transaction will automatically move the funds out of the Client Trust Liabilities account and place them into the Client Trust AP account. Later on, when you pay the bills entered into the Client Trust AP account, the balance will be decreased. To review the process for entering bills, please review the lesson titled Entering Bills from Chapter 12. To start, select Vendors, Enter Bills from the menu bar to open the Enter Bills window. Then select the Client Trust AP account from the AP account drop-down at the top of the screen. You can then enter the vendor by selecting a name from the vendor drop-down. For services provided by your firm, you can enter the name of your firm into the vendor list and then select it from this drop-down menu. You can then enter the date and bill due fields values. Next, click to the items tab at the bottom of the screen and select the services or expenses indicated by the bill. You can always add as many service items as needed to track the services and expenses that you pay from the client account. For each item entered, be sure to select the client and matter or case from the customer job drop-down for each line item. You should also mark each line item as not billable by clearing the check mark from the box shown in the billable column. You do this because all charges in the Client Trust AP account will be paid using funds from the Client Trust account. Because of this, you would not want to pass those costs through to the client in an invoice, which would double their effect. Therefore, you mark the line items as not billable to prevent this possibility. Then use the class drop-down for each line item to select the partner responsible for the client. You can then click the Save and Close button to finish entering the bill. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.